Let's try it one more time. One, two, and three. Okay, now I'm going to try the other one. You need a printing paper. This is best. You can use your slider size eight and a half, by eleven inches. So if you have a four paper, trim it down to this size. All right. So first step for the paper in half this way. Next step, fold the paper in half this way. Start from this edge and fold it to this edge. Okay, next, I will start from this edge and fold it to the center crease. So believe me, do these steps carefully or you will have trouble at the end. Right, so do it slowly and carefully. Alright, and then open this layer, open this layer, I turn the paper over, and then repeat the same step as we did before. Alright, so be patient now then, this will be easy later on. Repeat the same step, start from this edge before it's in the crease, so it's for slowly, see how I do this. Very slowly, okay. Here we go. Okay, then open this layer, open this layer. Okay, then now we open this layer up, you see the pocket here, then I'll start from this edge and forward to the center crease here. Alright, and repeat the same step for the other side. Okay, open this pocket like this, then push this edge to the center crease, so just do it slowly. Oh gosh. It's not easy at all. All right. So that's what we have. Then I'll open this layer. Okay. I put this to this side. Okay. Now I'll start from this edge. Fold to the center crease. Okay. Then I will start from this edge. I fold it to this edge. Here we go. And I repeat the same step for the other side. Okay. I open this layer, put it back to this size, open this layer, put it to this size. Okay, start from this edge, I fold it to the center crease. Basically, I repeat the same step as the other size. Fold this. Okay. Okay, then you see this layer, I put it back. So that's what we have for now. Right? And next step, I put this layer to this size again. Okay, and I turn the paper this way so it's easier for me to fold. I use this corner as a reference to fold this layer out to create a wing. Okay, when I fold out, just do it slowly. Okay, this is really important that you can measure this corner to this edge equal to from this corner to this edge. So do not make it longer or shorter. I try all the versions and only this version works. So just let you guys know I make like more than a hundred versions of this plan and only this one works so be really careful when you fold this out when, and just uh, be careful you need to hold this part of the the paper to fold this part out okay and I repeat the same step for the other side okay open this layer and fold it out do it slowly and I use the edge here as a preference okay and I fold this part out. I'll hold my hand here to hold this part of the paper to fold it out. There we go. And next step, I will open this part of the body shape, okay? Open it, put it over here, right? And then I will estimate about half an inch from this corner along this edge to here, okay? Then I just fold straight to the corner up here. So if you are not, if you don't have experience with origami, you should use a ruler to measure it. If you believe you are really good at uh, origami, just estimate and just for it like me. Okay. Okay. You should have like half an inch on this edge for now. Okay. Just for it like this. Okay. And then I would do the same thing for the other side. Okay. I put it layer of the body back and I open this one. Okay. 
So the best way is I will fold the paper in half like this. Okay. See how I fold it? Fold it in half so I can fold the wing, make it more even. Okay. So when I fold it like this already, you can see the edge here on this side. I'll just fold this part down slowly. Okay. To match this part of the wing match with the other part. Use this edge as a reference. So fold it straight to the corner up here. Right. I know it's confusing, so if you don't get what I did before, just pause and look back. Okay. So this is what we have. I try to make it really even though. Here we go. See what we have here, then open this part of the the, the paper, okay? Push it back, one back, open the, uh, the body part. So this is what we have for now, right? Pretty good. Okay. And then you, I open this one back again. Okay. Then you can see this part of the, uh, the paper. I'll just start from this edge forward to the center crease. Okay. okay. Now fold this part back. Right. And I repeat the same step for the other side. Okay. I open this part of the paper. Okay. And then I'll start from this edge. I fold to the uh, body or the center crease fold it back like this and then you can see this part here I fold it back okay to hold the wing so this is what we have right that is great okay the next step I will create the body part and I create the nose of the F22 so you see this edge here and this edge you can imagine that this edge will go straight to this point right they will intersect at somewhere in the center and I estimate this will cross right here, right? Just fold this part out, and I use my thumb here where I imagine that this edge and this edge cross. Push this one down. Okay. When I fold out, just do it slowly because I don't want to uh, make the blends look bad at the end. So I will just fold straight to uh, this this edge. Okay. Also this size. So try to make it uh, even. Do slowly. Okay. So this is good for now, All right? And then I will fold this part up to create the nose, the wings, everything. Okay. We we'll match this edge to this edge. Here we go. Let's see what I have here. Just fold this part up. And I repeat the same step for the other side, right? Fold this one up. Okay, match this first. So this is what we have. That's look very good for now. Okay, make sure that's all part are symmetrical. Here we go. So you can see here, I can open this part to create the stabilizer. And I open this part to create a stabilizer. Okay. Here we go. So there are more steps to do. So be patient. All right. So you see this part of the end of the wing, right? It doesn't look like the raptor at all. I will make it look more like the raptor by folding um, this corner in. Then I would just estimate about a um, half an inch again. Okay. So start from this corner, just fold in. When you fold in, you need to fold slowly. So you see how I fold it? For a small part, just keep going. Okay, keep folding. Okay, keep folding it in. Okay, actually, like I roll it in slowly. Okay, so let's see how now. It looks very good now. And I would do the other side of the wing. Same thing. A little bit more, one more step. So again, if you are not an expert, use a ruler to help you. Okay, I didn't do it correctly, so I have to fix it now. A little bit less. Perfect. 
look, this looks very good now. And then you can see the uh, elevator. I will do the same thing. Okay, I will estimate about half an inch from this corner. It's just fall straight from here. About a quarter of an inch from this corner along this edge. So it's just fold like this. And then this is what you will have. Okay, and then I will do the same thing for the other side. Turn the paper like this so it's easier for you to fold. Okay, so you can see this part here. You see the corner here. Just fold and I repeat the same step as I do for this um this wings. Okay, just fold in slowly. But in this time, you just fold in about a quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch is perfect. Okay. Do the same thing for the other side. Alright, so the Raptor F22 is completed. Right, so there are a few steps I will need to tell you guys to make this one really work. So make sure that the make sure that you curve the elevator up like this. And then you need to fix the wings. Right. And the stabilizer as well to make it straight up. Okay, this is very important that you know how to control the stabilizer. So this is not an easy paper airplane, so you need to trick it if it doesn't work. If it works well you're successful but if not you have to, to fix it do not do not throw the paper away and I believe many of you guys will not make it fly at the first time so this is really important that you curve the, um, the elevator up and the wings up and uh, fix the stabilizer as we will fly alright and one more thing after you fix everything the wings the stabilizers and the elevators you need to fix the nose as well so make sure that the nose um, the tip of the airplane straight up okay do not make do not fold down like this do not fold up like that so make sure that it's straight up okay like this so and you will surprise has to fly if you fold correctly if you think this paper airplane is awesome please like and subscribe remember that this is a difficult paper airplane so don't get mad if you cannot make it you know I have to create like a hundred versions of this plan to come up with this this final version so that's fine you cannot make it work Try it again. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.